Today's football match will be the most northern and remote football match I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing really, considering the amount of videos I've made in the Highlands from Wick and Brora and Elgin and Inverness and Ross County to Forest Mechanics and Nairn County and um, not in Rury Loco work sadly but what a name, Turriff United. I've been to loads of Highland clubs but I've never seen a game up here for whatever reason. Covid, no fans, pre-season I've been here as well. But today will be my first ever Highland League match and it's going to be between Bucky Thistle, what a name, and Clackna Cuddin what a name. Two stadiums I visited, again, for non-match day reasons. But yeah, just let me show you this area first before we get into the stadium and stuff. But just exploring the, um, the lesser seen places of the UK through football is what I live for. Just look at this area first. It is amazing. So the last time I came to Bucky, it was pissing it down. Honestly, it was probably one of the worst weather days I've ever had on the channel. That's for a ground hopping video. It couldn't have come on a worse day when I was visiting numerous stadiums. But just look at this, a lovely blue sky day here. It's gonna make for some incredible shots and I will have already just shown you some. And the stadium is just around there. You probably won't be able to make it on the GoPro, so there's no point in me showing you. But yeah, literally just the other side of these houses is where the ground is, which is where we'll be going in a bit. But yeah, let's just uh, see what the town is all about first. And yeah, just see what we can find. I'll tell you a little bit about the place. It used to be a, um, used to be very big on a fishing industry. Um, used to have a big port and stuff like that. Whereas uh, nowadays all, all of that industry, the boating industry and the fishing industry has moved to Fraserborough and Aberdeen, although it's died down a lot. Of course, uh, we don't do a huge amount of that in the UK anymore sadly but towns like this all across the uh, northern coast of scotland would have been booming little fishing towns um you know a few hundred years ago or even decades ago i suppose but a lot of those uh, industries now are closed down but yeah let's just go and see uh go see what the town is all about it's not that remote there is a little over in the distance the christmas cheer is alive and well here in bucky jesus look at this and look at that with um, beautiful views down to the sea. Oh my God, there's a dog competition. Forget what I was about to say about the sea and about the industry and about the architecture of these amazing churches. There's a dog competition on right now. How did I not see this? Oh my God. You got that big feel, Rudolph. Right, best Christmas dress this category. Who is gonna win? First place, Milo. Well done. Despite the lovely sun earlier, I knew the rain wouldn't be far away. And yes, here it is. Hopefully it doesn't stay for too long, but the home of Bucky Thistle is behind me. And did you know that Bucky Thistle were mentioned in a Stephen King novel? Yes, this small fifth tier Scottish Highland League club was uh, named in a Stephen King novel. One of the most famous novelists of our era mentioned this football club. We'll see if we can find out a little bit more about that when we go inside. But firstly, before we do jump in there, a massive thank you to Fanbase for sponsoring in this video. If you're a fan of football in the Highlands, then Fanbase is the best place to go. They have a whole host of clubs on there. They've got clubs all around the UK, but they've really specifically honed in on the Highlands. And they've got loads of clubs that you can go and watch play, and you can buy tickets through their app. I'll link all their information in the top link in the description box, so you can go and check it out for yourself. Download the app, buy tickets for some of these Highland League games, because they really need you here. They need your support at these clubs. It's not like Rangers or Celtic, where you're just a customer and they want as much money as they can out of you. Take the money out of it itself the players want to see people turning up they want to see relevance they want to see people in their stadiums and generate a bit of an atmosphere so if you want to do that and if you want to come and explore little highland towns like i've been doing today and come and see the football team play then the best place to do that through is fan base made it through 
um, and I'm inside the home of Bucky Thistle before the match here today and let me just show you the benches look at this the benches have wooden chairs you don't see that at Celtic and at Rangers and at Liverpool and Man United. This is why I love to come to the uh, the smaller clubs around the UK because you get to see these funny little uh, nuances here. But yeah, what a lovely day. Look at this here. Wow. And it's usually my ground hopping vids where I get to do this, but the goalpost has been touched pre kick off here at Bucky Thistle. Something I really need to tell you, something crucial, is uh, of course how the both teams are doing this season in the league and a bit of context around the Highland League. So I will put the Highland League table on screen right now. You can see poor old Fort William at the bottom there with one point and minus 47 goal difference. Um, but yeah, looking at the top, Fraserburgh, a team that I should be visiting very soon, have um, how many points have they got? 40 points. It's weird, the points are kind of at the end there. Uh, yeah, played 15 games, they've got 40 points. Rothes a second. Breakin, of course, who got relegated from the SPFL last season, will want to bounce straight back. They are now, uh, of course, in the Highland League. They're a non league team now after centuries literally I think over 100 years in SPFL football but then if you look down to to, to do to today's two teams Bucky Thistle are in sixth and they have 31 points ahead doing quite well this season won 10 of their 14 games against Clackner Cudden who are currently ninth in the table on 18 points so two pretty decent teams here today I always check the Highland and Lowland League scores on like a Saturday afternoon once I finish my filming and stuff and the Highland League seems to have so many goals it does seem incredible I've said that now and it'll probably be in the no draw but let's hope for some goals And I think I could be sat up here today. What a stand this is. This has it all. It's got wooden seating. It is raised, as you see a lot actually in Scotland, these strange little raised stands, especially in non-league. Forrest Mechanics have one, Linlifgo Rose have one. Well, look how high up you are um, when everything else is beneath. I feel like changing rooms and everything is underneath. It also even has everybody's favorite poles of uncertainty people hate a restricted view of the football but me with my positive outlook on life i quite enjoy them it means that um and i've said this so many times so if you're new i'll tell you about why i like poles of uncertainty it's because someone can run like that with the ball into a pole something will happen in that pole someone else can come out with a ball and you just never quite know what's going on but yeah look at this even if you're stood look I'm a short ass, and even I'm nearly hitting my head in here. I love grounds like this. Look at this place. Look. You need to have these little cushions and these little wooden stands and that wonderful view. My name is Daniel Farker. I'm the I'm the commercial director here at Bucky. So yep. I uh, you know, look after social media and you know try to get fans in, yeah. and raise funds, etc., etc. So and how's the season been going for the club? And what? How many fans would you usually get at a game like today? Uh, probably, you know. Most time, most games will get maybe two, three hundred fans, and yep. you know, so um, you know, a good crowd. Nice. Um, season's going well so far, so you yeah, know, you're just, up there. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're challenging. Um, you know, a few more, a few more wins, and uh, we'll see what happens. But long way to go. And with the new sort of pyramid system that's starting to emerge in Scotland over the last couple of years yeah. and going forward, what are the grand plans for the club? Would you eventually like to see them in the SPFL? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, we'd have to, we'd have to cross that bridge when we get there. To yeah, be honest, yeah. you know, you, it's. Uh, it, it would be a big, big step up, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, there's lots of opportunity for, you know, for smaller clubs coming up into the Highland League, and I think I think that's going to be that's going to change the dynamics of it mm. as well. So of course. you know, um, it'll it'll be an interesting uh, league in the next few years. Yeah, definitely. And um, my final question: When I come to all these different grounds, I like to find what's unique about them. Is it true that Bucky Thistle were mentioned in a Stephen King novel? Is that yes, right? Yes. Yes. What's the story behind that? I Why don't know. It... I think you just Googled it and tried to find something and uh, and and, and yeah, chose Bucky Thistle. But, really? Uh, yeah. He sent us a couple of signed books. And, nice. And he's promised that if he comes over to Scotland, he'll come and get a game in. So I it's, uh, see him in the stands here. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. You know, we, we we tweeted back and forth a few times. So oh, it was golly. fantastic. I mean, it, it was really good. It raised yeah. the profile of the club and yeah. everything. So it was, uh, oh, amazing. It was, it was really good.
Hmm, I beg to differ. As ever, I will um, include some links and related videos down in the description box. One will be my Clackner Cudden one, one will be the other Bucky Fisher one, as well as loads of other uh, Highland videos I've made in the past as well, so you can check those out after you've watched this one. Um, I'm also selling canvases as well, so I'll link that in the description box. I won't go into it too much, I mentioned it in a couple of videos. But yeah, if you're a Celtic Rangers, Partick Thistle, Hibs, Wraith Rovers or Kelty fan, then uh, I've got some great Christmas presents uh, that you can have right now. All linked in the description box. Firstly, could you introduce yourself and let everyone know what you do here at Bucky Thistle? Uh, well, I'm, my name is Gary Farker. Um, okay. I'm local and born and bred, but I live in Aberdeen now. Yep. But I uh, became back involved with Bucky, but, well, I can't remember how many years ago, a long time ago. Yeah, um, and um, local, born and bred, what does the club mean to you and the people of the area? Uh, well, I, I know what a big impact the, the club has on the community. It's, yep. uh, it's a great, place for people to come on a Saturday, they, they love it, they, yep. the success for the club is important, you know, and yep. uh, luckily we've been quite successful in the last few years. Yeah, cool, and would the fans like to see the club eventually, you know, a few steps ahead maybe in the SPFL one day now that the um, route is it's, there? It's, it's not the sort of realistic kind of ambition at the end of the day because mm -hmm. it's a huge jump financially. Yep. The Highland League is in a, it's a very competitive, very, very competitive league, yep. a very good league. And uh, I, th I think at the moment we're in the right place. And playing Clackna Cudden today, who are around mid-table, <clears> what are your thoughts on the game and score predictions do you think you can win? Pick up well, the you never predict any, any game in the Highland League simply because <laughs> yeah. it, it, it is unpredictable. You can get teams that on paper should be knocking in goals and, and winning comfortably, but yeah. it, often that is not the case. You just don't know what you're going to get until the game starts. And Just a bit of excitement anyway. Out. But uh, it, it, the, the thing about the Highland League is it's entertaining. Yeah. It's always entertaining. So I'm here with the, the Bucky Thistle Ultras, the big fans of Bucky Thistle. I'll go from left to right, I'll get all your score predictions for today's game. What do you reckon? 3-1 Bucky. 3-1 and? 4-1 Bucky. 4-1, four, one, he's going for goals. 2-0. 4-0. 4-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0 Bucky. Goals, come on boys. Come on Bucky. <laughs> Look at all these little lads, we've got the Bucky Fissile Ultras right behind us as well here. And look, good bit of atmosphere in here. The, uh, the stand is now filled up a little bit from when I was the only one in here. But look, there they are, the Ultras, they are buzzing. And the game has kicked off. And the refs letting a lot go, these games are so physical in the Highland League. down there. Literally, these games are so physical. Like We've only played five minutes, there's already been a goal. Tackles have been flying in, shirt pulling, long balls. Proper footy this. And look, so rowdy in it. Across the line, Bucky this close to scoring. Time for this week's episode of Are Kelty Winning or Not? And the answer is yes. Decision for the key to come out after a long ball, and Bucky have equalised. Highland League football is the most entertaining in the world, it seems, and it is one all here after about 20 minutes. Clacker 1-1 it! He went for the chip and got a bit too much on that one. Between those two, 
used to it. The number seven for Black and the Cud and the number three for Bucky. Right, and there can't be long left of the first half, which is still just going on behind me here. And um, this is really the purest form of football. Like, it is so similar to what it must have been like back in the day um, with the amount of tackles. Oh, there's something going on up the other end. Yeah, with the amount of like tackles that are flying in. Oh, as one just goes in now, the ref lets so much of it go. There is half time. The amount of tackles that fly in, like the ball goes long, it gets caught up in the wind, the pitch is muddy, slide tackles, it's full blooded. Yeah, like I say, this is like um, the most pure form of what football would have been like, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years ago, maybe, up here. It probably hasn't changed a lot up here for a long time, like the Premier League has, like the Champions League has. It's all diluted with VAR and no tackling, but not up here. This is proper, proper football. I've got my first uh, Clack fans of the day here. How's the season been going for Clack and the Cut-In so far? Well, a couple of don't aren't up for us as well. So. Yeah, it's back mid table, right? right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been all right this season. A couple of wins, uh, a couple of losses. Yeah. So it's obviously not nice to see your team lose, but today we're looking for the win, and I think we're the better team. Yeah, it's been a been a good game so and far. A very fiery game, hasn't it? The is biased this game. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? There's been yeah. a few uh, tough tackles, hasn't there? Yeah. yeah. And um, what's it like supporting a team in the Highland League? It's a really exciting league. A lot happens. Yeah. A lot in a lot uh, in the games. Yeah, there's not much fans. Yeah, I know what you mean, but the ones that are here really care about the games, yeah, I suppose. The atmosphere is actually good over there. Over there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's fiery atmosphere. And so I'll go from left to right. What do you think the final score will be? 3-1 or 3-2 clock. 3-2 clock. Nice. And yourself? 2-1 clock. And? 2-1 clock. Nice one. Enjoy the game, boys. Oh, we got a chance. Oh! <laughs> The ball was running out and one of the players, I think the number 10, who deserves all the credit for this goal, he didn't get the assist or scored a goal, but the ball was trickling out and he sprinted from so far away to retrieve it. He got there, just kept it on and kept it on, played it back, they crossed it and they scored. Oh, and the Jags. Of course, Bucky Thistle known as the Jags, as are all the teams with this in their name up in Scotland. What a game. I love football like this, I really do. Highland League, non-league, mud, tackles, goals, atmosphere, bit of rain, bit of sun. We had dogs earlier, we had a free coffee. It's been all right. Oh, he's shot from there. Oh! He's just shot from there. And the keeper saved it. Oh my god. Big chance, big chance. Yeah! And it is 3 1 to Bucky now. I think a lot of people um, thought that it would be 3 1. I think in a lot of the, um, the score predictions that I asked people earlier on today. sky as well wow just so appreciative of these moments after the, this time last year i was up in the highlands visiting a lot of teams when i visited clack and cudding and the league wasn't even running because of covid he's raging he's a clack fan he's off home um Junior! off he goes but yeah just to um be here and just be with fans and watch football that isn't cancelled anymore just makes you appreciate the moments after that terrible year that we had last year and a bit into this year I guess as well but yeah just love being here in these moments look at this here we go high tech we got pen cam on four one Bucky what a performance yeah they've been incredible second half clack have barely had a touch I wanna be in that number Oh, when the Jags go steaming in. Something's happening on the benches as well. The ref is booking. Oh, someone's been sent off. The manager's been sent off. Oh, 
and the assistant's getting booked as well. The ref has just sent off a manager from Clack of the Cudding and booked his assistant by the looks of things from down here. This is what I'm telling you lads, you've got to get to some non-league if you haven't. Look at this scene here today, it's all going on. And the heavens have opened a little bit here. It's starting to piss down and it is full time. 4-1, five goals, what a game. Manager's been sent off. We saw a dog show earlier. We're in the Highlands, you cannot beat that for entertainment. If you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe because how many football YouTubers do you know have made match day vlogs at Bali, Barcelona and Bucky? So yeah, if you could subscribe, it'd really, really help. I do rack up the miles and I will get to your club soon. I go to so many clubs, I'm not really biased about anything and I just want to show football in the best light possible. So if you could, could subscribe, that'd be great. Also check out Fanbase, sponsor of today's video, all linked below. And do come to a Bucky Thistle game because you'll be treated to some fantastic entertainment, but your lips will probably fall off with the cold. I'm surprised I can even still talk. I'll leave some videos on screen. If you could check them out, that'd be fantastic. Thank you very much and goodbye.